So for the first time since that spam Skype spam bots talk video, I thought I would come up and talk about something that I've been wanting to bring up in a video for the last couple weeks. And that is my history with YouTube NCNs. For those who don't know, that's multi-channel networks. But it's those kind you see everywhere, like Social Blade, you see Freedom, you see Machinima, you see TGN, etc. Those kind. And it's because the reason I wanted to talk about this, well, it's been building up, but I recently wanted to talk about it because just recently my gaming channel has finally gotten out of its contract with Freedom. So I thought I would kind of talk about the history with the network, so like to show you guys how these networks can kind of be, what the plus, the pros and cons are with certain networks and all that stuff. So the first network I ever joined was Social Blade slash RPM Network slash Major Studio slash Major Gen slash whatever they keep renaming themselves. That company has been under a lot of renamings to where you don't even know what to call them anymore. But I joined that network on my main channel, I think, if memory serves me, I think it was September of 2012. Because I remember it was just a few months after I created my main channel. And I wanted to get a partnership. But I thought like it was something past the just normal monetization stuff for trying to get all the features. Because this was back when the YouTube channel stuff had that special one where you could have that banner at the top and people could click anything on there and go directly to a link. So you have one that says Facebook, people click that, boom, they go to Facebook, your Facebook page and all that. Then they rebranded it and got rid of that. But I wanted all those features and like custom thumbnails and all that stuff. And I thought there was a different way to do it. So then one of my old friends, known as Dotcom Vids, who I haven't heard from in quite a while, told me, hey, there's this network, you can come join them. So I, he told me about Social Blade slash any of the other names I mentioned, because who knows what the frick they're calling themselves now. I join them, and things were alright first. RPM Network, I'll just refer to it as that, because I think that's like the main premise title for the network. I join them. The network is pretty much kind of like a starter one, where the contract is, I think, at least a year. It's either one year or two years, and if you don't tell them you want out within 30 days before your annual contract renewal, they're going to renew your contract. So if, if by 30, if the... If you don't tell them 30 days before the, your contract officially goes for one year, like 30 days before the one year period, then they're going to renew it. So if you tell them at least 30 days before that one year period that you want out, they won't renew it when the one year is that full count, that full year of the agreement is over. So I didn't realize that until I checked my contract or anything like that. But when I did it, like, I remember the contract was a 60-40 split with ad revenue. So you get to keep 60% of your earnings after YouTube takes the usual 45, and then the network keeps 40% of that. And it was all right, but the thing is, with their network, they have the whole thing of that you have a threshold, which means you have to earn this amount of money total for your total earnings added up in order to get paid. And... I can't even freaking remember. I think it was like 50 bucks or so. And if you're a starter channel, it's going to take quite a while to get paid. It took me over a year into that contract to get my first paycheck. So, I mean, the channel grew a nice amount, a good amount for the two years I was there. After a while, I just got really sick of it. I didn't feel like the, the network had much to offer for health or growth of my channel. Yes, they had that channel at one point where they were doing the YouTube tips and all that. And... That's fine and dandy if you're new to YouTube and you want to learn how to do all these things. But the only benefit that I saw for the network was the, the access to Audio Micro. For those who don't know of Audio Micro, it's a third-party website where you can get royalty-free music. And if you, you can access that all you want, but if you want to do it without spending physical money, join a network. Because just about every network out there has access to the website. Like every network that I've been under, at least, has had access to the website. And the best, the good thing I'll say about that one was that uh, RPM Network had, like, a budget. So the rights to the music, like, if you download a song, it takes it off their budget. Or the same thing with the sound effects. It take, deducts it from their budget. So it was all paid by them. So it was like a prepaid thing for them. So that was a nice thing for them. But that was really the only thing I saw out of the network that you really had to benefit from. So I think... 
think it was August 2004 of, yeah, I think August of 2014, by around that time, I told them, hey, I don't want to be with the network anymore. I don't find any way that I'm benefiting from it. And the, like the views had gone down drastically for the few for a few months there as well because I've mentioned that on my main channel before, and they tried to keep they tried to talk me into staying, saying, "Hey, we'll change the ad revenue split to 70 30. And I was like, "All right, I'll stay." But like they also checked the channel because I said the views were dropping, and they said, "Yeah, your views have dropped. It's even like it's most likely a glitch that's tampering with that's tampering with your view count, or there's some kind of bug on YouTube's end." And I've been suspecting of a glitch ever since my favorite YouTuber, d Sigs, a.k.a. Sigas, the Angry Black Man, talked about it. And that I, I think I still got the email in my inbox for what they said. They're like, it's either a glitch or a bug on YouTube's end when it comes to the counter for the numbers. So I told them I'd stay, but then a month afterwards, all of a sudden, I was out of my contract. So I guess they didn't hear me say I decided to change my mind, but I was out of the contract. What can I do? So then immediately afterwards, like around the time that I said I was getting out of the contract, I had people contact me saying, hey, come join Freedom. And I decided, all right, I'll give it a shot. And Freedom, for those who don't know, it's a network that also has a 60-40 ad revenue split. The contract is a no lock-in, which means if you want to leave the network anytime, you can. But they have an exception to it saying, like, if you go to your channel, click that unlink button for, like, unlink from your network, you can do that to tell them you want out, but... It'll take 30 days for that to be into effect, so it's kind of like a notice thing. So, I joined the network, and like with ad revenue split, that can change under certain circumstances. Like, you have to do like certain tasks on through your dashboard that they give you to earn points towards your account, and then you can redeem those points for a benefit. But like, that stuff usually only lasted for like a month, so like you can change your ad revenue split from a 60-40 all the way to getting like 110% of your ad revenue, but that only lasts for one month. So if you use it for, say, the month of December, it's not going to stay in effect past December. Then, like, they had a bunch of benefits, like, you had some of the sponsorship stuff, some giveaways from a while back, Audio Micro, and I think a few other websites, if I'm certain right. I think there was Epidemic Sound, but I'm not sure. So, like, I had a nice time with the network, and they pay you every month through PayPal. I almost forgot to mention Social Blade, they do direct deposit. At least I think they still do it. And Freedom, they do PayPal. So I signed up with them, and then, like, literally about a month into my contract with Freedom, Social Blade contacts me saying, hey, now everybody has a chance to do a 70-30 ad revenue split. Click the link here, and you change your contract. I'm like, too late. So I joined Freedom. After a while, like, I liked getting paid every month because that was part of their guarantee. But after a while, I still felt that I could do better than the network because it's also a starter network. And I heard a lot of people trash talk about the network, and I started looking up what people were saying, and a lot of people were saying, hey, this network will literally sign anybody, and I mean literally anybody. Like, if you have a channel that has, like, little to no subs and little to no videos, or you're inactive, they'll still sign you if you, sign, if you choose to join them. So after a while, I'm like, you know what, this network's not really going to work. So I decided to get on my contract 30 days later. I'm officially out. And I like, this also applies to my gaming channel, but I'll get to my gaming channel in just a moment. Then right after I get out of my Freedom contract, I think that lasted 10 months. It was like, I think I was out also, like, I joined Freedom in October 2015, uh, I think, no, October 2014. And then by the, by the following August, I told him I went out, and then September, I also got out of the contract. Then immediately afterwards, I joined Curse, aka Union for Gamers. That network, it is a 90-10 ad revenue split, paid through PayPal, no lock-in contract. Some of the ben I haven't seen that many benefits just yet, but I've seen access to Ep Epidemic Sound and Audio Micro as well, just like Freedom had. Uh, let's see, they got a pretty good dashboard. They got like they easily let you keep track of like all your stats and all that stuff, and I'm enjoying it so far. I mean, I think, like, the month of December, this past December, the monthly earnings I got, my, my paycheck from the monthly earnings for December, is the most I've ever made in any month during my time on YouTube. It's not a lot. I can say it's more than my hourly wage in my job, but that's still better than nothing. So, so far, I'm enjoying it. Their, their requirements that I know of are 
you have to fit one of two criteria. My Xbox One is trying to fall asleep. Either have a thousand, at least a thousand subs and be gaining at least four thousand views a month, or if you don't meet the subscriber count, you have to be getting at least eight thousand views a month. So I couldn't, I couldn't even do that for my gaming channel because it meets nowhere near those requirements. So so far, I'm enjoying it. Now for my gaming channel, I was, I let's see, I think I created the account in December 2013, and by I think June 2014. I officially joined the Freedom Network, and I was there up until last week. Because, like, I kept, I just got tired of Freedom. I was, like, I just kept hearing all the bad stuff. I finally wanted out, but the big thing that was concerning me is, is there another network for me to join due to my channel's statistics? So I think so far my channel's got probably two around 230 subscribers. It gets around between two and 3,000 views a month. Which is not good. And the total views is about four to three thousand five hundred ish total. I'm not sure. But I finally got out of my contract last week. I told him I wanted out on my birthday last month, and then the twelfth or thirteenth of this month, I checked my channel and it was finally said, You're out of your contract. Yay! So now I'm trying like I said with freedom, it's not the best thing. It's usually for star channels and they'll just sign anybody, which is not good for the reputation because you gotta go through a screening process on who you do and do not approve of for joining your network. But right now, when I, I'm trying to, I'm between two networks on what I want to choose for my gaming channel. My first choice is Machinima, and then if that doesn't work, I'll apply for TGN. So, I, it's not a good history with networks. Like I said, Social Blade, they didn't really have much to offer. In Freedom, they don't really have a good reputation. I mean, and plus, the threshold for how much you have to have total earnings in order to get paid by Social Blade is not good. Freedom, they'll pay you every month, but again, like I said, they they have a bad reputation and stuff. But I thought I'd bring that whole thing up. It's like, now you guys know my history with networks and all that stuff. I've only ever been under three specific networks. Social Blade, Slash RPM, or any other name they got. Freedom and Curse. So, take my advice. If you guys, if you're starting a channel... You could maybe do Social Blade or Freedom for a starter channel, but it's not going to be beneficial for you in the long run, especially due to their reputations and rules and stuff. If you want to join Curse, it's going to take a bit of more work to do, but if you guys want to join the network, do your research. Check what benefits the network has, how they pay you, their ad revenue split, the length of the contract, anything you can to decide what network is best for you. Don't instantly hear that there's a network you can guarantee to get into. Look at every network. Look at Social Blade. Look at Freedom. Look at Curse. Look at Machinima. Look at TGN. Look at Ben Pixels. Look at Amia Media. Screenwave Media. Or Amia Media, Screenwave Media. Look at as many networks as you can and choose one. Don't choose one just because it's easy to get into. Choose one that you feel are going to benefit from the most. So I hope that video was a little informative, but that's all I got for now, folks. Thanks for watching, folks. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out, folks.